I have been a huge fan of Marvel my whole life. I always love to read and watch everything related to the Marvel Universe, and there are five heroes that have always stood out to me. They are characters that I have connected with for a long time. In this video, I will discuss what I love about the character and my favorite interpretation of the character. Starting at number five, Wolverine. First off, he's just an awesome character. He's an iconic face of the Marvel Universe, and he's always been really cool to me. He's a mutant with the healing factor. He has an adamantium skeleton with adamantium claws. He's an iconic member of the X-Men. He has a very interesting backstory, and I have a lot of X-Men comics, so it's really cool to see his character progress over the time span of comics that are in my collection. My favorite interpretation of the character is probably Hugh Jackman. He plays the character very well. Obviously, Hugh Jackman is very tall for the character. In the comics, he's like just above five feet and Hugh Jackman is over six feet tall. So that's the only difference between the actor and the character, but the way he plays Wolverine is so well done. I can't wait to see his return in Deadpool 3. It's probably my most anticipated movie of 2024, and it's definitely going to be a blast. The X-Men shows also do a really good interpretation of the character, but Hugh Jackman for me is the top tier interpretation of Wolverine. At number four, I have Captain America. Once again, he's an other awesome character. He's one of Marvel's first characters that they created. Cap has always been a compelling character to me. He's a strong and committed leader. He always stands up for what's right, and he's a great role model and example of a true hero. He's exactly what a hero should be. My favorite interpretation has to be MCU Cap. His journey was incredible. Joe Johnson, Joss Whedon and the Russo brothers did an amazing job crafting the iconic character to be a gigantic pop culture icon through the films. This is probably the best version of the character we'll have. Who knows if they'll reboot the MCU and bring in a new Steve Rogers, but I think Chris Evans was perfect as Captain America. I love Captain America and Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes as well. There is great character development in that just like the MCU but for me, it comes down to Chris Evans as the top tier Captain America that we will have. At number three, I have Black Panther. Black Panther has always been a really interesting and compelling character to me. Again, he's another classic Marvel hero. He's got such rich lore behind him. He's an incredible character. He brought a whole new perspective to Marvel in general. He was one of the first black heroes in Marvel between him and a Luke Cage. He's a huge role model. He's an icon for many around the world. He's a hero of color and he's just a straight up badass. He's the king of Wakanda and it's something different for a Marvel character because not many characters rule their own territory and because T'Challa is the king of Wakanda, that was something very different for a Marvel character. My favorite interpretation, hands down, is Chadwick Boseman. He is the Black Panther. Nothing will ever top Boseman as Black Panther for me. I think it's cool Shuri gets her time to shine as the title character now, but Chadwick dominated the character. He made it so appealing and awesome. He's trying to live up to his father being the king. He does become the ruler of Wakanda, and he's a fierce leader and icon. It's sad that we'll never see him again as the character. Again, rest in power, King. Chadwick Boseman's Black Panther will always be my favorite interpretation, and Black Panther will always be a favorite character of mine. At number two, Daredevil. Daredevil is super awesome with a really unique background. He's super compelling, and I've been invested in the character the moment I was first introduced. He's just a blind man who would do anything to protect his community, He's a lawyer by day, vigilante by night, he has enhanced senses, and there's a religious aspect to the character, which I thought was really interesting and different. Because I can't think of any other Marvel hero that has the same kind of moral journeys that Matt Murdock has. He always questions his choices, he goes to confessions, he kind of has to kind of bring himself back to God and make sure this is what God put him up to do, like is he following God's work, is this what his path is? I thought that was really interesting. He also has really interesting villains, some of which are Kingpin, Bullseye, Elektra, and he's a unique character with plenty of awesome content. My favorite interpretation has to be Charlie Cox's Daredevil. He plays the character perfectly. He's got the charm, he's got the wit, and he has that relentless pursuit to bring order and justice to Hell's Kitchen through court and vigilantism. He's got an awesome look as well. 
The Black Mask Daredevil is so cool and I would love to see more of that in the MCU even though the red is most iconic and I love the second red suit in the show as well. The first one kind of looked weird to me just because the helmet was, it looked like very big for his head, I don't know, but I really loved the second suit. I'm really excited for the future of his character in the MCU. I think he's going to shine very bright in the coming future and I'm all here for street level MCU. I also just finished reading Chip Darsky's 2019 to 2021 run and it was so damn good and I highly recommend it to anyone. For number one, I think it's pretty obvious, Spider-Man. If you know me, obviously you know Spider-Man's my favorite Marvel character. He's always been a favorite of mine and I don't see anyone topping it for me. He's an iconic character in anything that he's been a part of, whether it's the movies, shows, games, anything. He's just a pop culture icon as well. I've always connected with him. He's just a kid who got superpowers and wanted to help others. And I like to think that I think like Spider-Man. I always observe my surroundings similar to Spider-Sense. I put others before myself, I'm always willing to help, and he's just a really down-to-earth, great person. He's a huge role model for me and always will be. He's an example of what a hero is and should be, much like Captain America. He's always persevering, no matter the consequences. This is a really tough decision for me to choose my favorite interpretation. First, I love Tom Holland's version of the character. It took a bit for him to fully become Spider-Man in the MCU, but he made it and I can't wait to see him become more in the future if he returns. He's finally on his own and he is Spider-Man. He was perfect at balancing the Peter and Spidey interpretation and I thought he played both brilliantly. I also love Insomniac's take on the character. Yuri Lowenthal is so good as Peter and Spidey. He's playing a Peter that is later in his Spider-Man career, but he's still awesome. The storytelling between the two games so far, three if you count Spider-Man Miles Morales with the short time he had in that, is some of the best Spider-Man storytelling I've ever seen. Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 2 are some of the best games I've ever played, and I love the take on the character so much. The final one that I was stuck between is the spectacular Spider-Man. Josh Keaton will always be my voice for the character. Reading the books, that's the voice I hear in my head. Growing up with that show will always be a highlight of my childhood. I had the show on DVD, I had tons of toys from it, I had clothing, I had a spectacular Spider-Man themed birthday party, and it was a huge nostalgic moment seeing him cameo in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and Josh Keaton came back to voice him. I thought that was really cool. Josh Keaton and the showrunners nailed the character in every aspect. I could do a whole other video explaining how perfect this Spider-Man is, and I probably will, but these three interpretations are my favorites for Spider-Man. So that was my top five Marvel heroes. Thank you for watching, and make sure to check out the rest of the content I have on my channel. I would really appreciate it if you would give it a like and maybe share it around and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.